guys welcome back to my channel welcome to another video if you are new here welcome thank you for stopping by thank you for clicking on this video if you are returning thank you for clicking this video and watching this video today i know i've not been consistent here on this space but guys just take me as i am okay take me as i am <laughs> Okay, so I want to quickly show you guys something. I don't if you've been here before, you know my husband is deployed and I send him care packages every now and then. So this is my second time sending him a package. <coughs> Excuse me. So I wanted to I'm gonna be taking the box to the post office tomorrow, but I just feel like showing what I have in the box for him. Maybe it might help somebody. So yeah, I'm gonna flip this camera around and show you what I got. If you love what you see please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you have not i would love to have you here in my family so yeah let's get into this video so i have two boxes um the reason i'm having two boxes is because i always use um a priority mail packaging because this is the best way to do it if you're sending anything like to long distance a fixed a priority mail is better because it's a flat rate no matter how heavy what you have in the box is you play the flat rate of the box and because i'm going to be sending a lot of heavy stuff if i send this regularly it's going to cost me more so i always use a flat rate box from the post office these boxes are free if you just just walk into your post office and ask for the flat rate box most post office have their boxes outside like in the front you can see them there's different sizes this is the biggest size this if i have one the bigger one i will have combined it into one box because but this is the biggest size of the flat rate boxes so i've always used two boxes to send to him so and because it's international it's outside of the united states you have to include things something like this this is a form that i got from the post office to make it easier for me, I'm going to fill this form out before I go to the post office. All I have to do is just go to the front so it can be quicker for me when I get there. So in the first box, I have some plantain. This is my first time sending him plantain, so I'm not sure if this is going to get there before they get too ripe. The last time I sent him something, it was less than two weeks. So, And these plantains was green yesterday, now they are already ripening. So I'm not sure if they will get there safe. I don't know. I just wanted to try this out. This is my first time trying this, like I said. He said he wanted some plantain, but I couldn't. I don't know how we're going to do that. But I'm just going to try it and risk it. So here, this pop powder has been in the house. Nobody is using it, so I decided to send it to him. And I'm sending him some corn to make some Igbo. If you are Nigerian, you know what that is. So I'm just sending him this one. I have the solo corn as well as the white. And he ordered some electronics. I mean, this is a wireless mouse that he needed. I'm going to be sending that to him. And this is a phone case for him. And this is some bath soap. This is, not, this is not uh, made here. I think you got this when we went to Bahrain some time ago, as well as this for his hair. And then he ordered some multivitamin, uh, multivitamins too. I'm sending him some spaghetti. He needed some Milo, as well as uh, pig milk, powdered pig milk. And here I have some pomo that I'll be sending to him as well. So that's all that's going to be in this box. I think, I don't think I'm bringing anything else into this box. So I'm trying to put them back. So, and I'm trying to leave the bananas on top so nothing will squish them. So yeah, and hopefully the bananas... I don't know depends on what they look like tomorrow when i'm taking them to the post office if they look too ripe if they look even more riper than this tomorrow i'm going to take them out because i don't want them to get spoiled and mess everything else up in the box 
Now, the second box, I only have yams in here for now. I'm going to show you the rest of the things that is coming in this box. So, I have four small tubers of yam. I decided to go with the small tubers so they can fit in the box. So, guys, yams are so expensive here in the United States. I bought a half box of yam. It's, it's much cheaper to buy the box of yam than buying them in singles. So the old box of yam is, was $130 for 50 pounds. So I got 25 pounds of yam for $65. So I'm only sending him four tubers. I kept the other three for us at home. So there was seven tubers and there were three bigger ones, not the small ones like this. So now I'm going to show you what else is coming in this box. So here are the other things that he requested for. This is called Kundi. So people call it Tinko. If you if you if you mind if you're somebody that gets taken off by the look of something you're not gonna like to eat kundi, but by the time you soak it and wash it thoroughly, it's very very good. So I'm sending him this right here. It's, it's basically sun dried meat. So this is gonna be going in that box that has yam, as well as some fried beef. He asked me to fry him some meat. I fry them so much and I've done this before so I have sent fried meat before even when it was farther than where he is right now and you got there so this is what it looks like it's very 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 dry I after frying them I even sun dry them yesterday because it was so sunny yesterday afternoon so so right now I have it in the freezer until tomorrow morning when I'm going out to work that's when I'm gonna get it out of the freezer because I'm going to take it with me to work, so I'll stop by the post office on my way back from work. So, or maybe I, I can just come home when I drop Angel. I'll grab it from the freezer because I don't want it to go bad in the car. But see, we are in the summer, it's going to be hot for like six hours, and I don't want it to go bad. So, yeah, I'm going to leave it in the freezer until tomorrow, and I'll pick it up and go to the post office. So, yeah. I have a lot of meat in here and it's very dry. Some of them are big. My husband doesn't eat a lot of meat. You might have to cut some into into two before cooking them. But yeah, guys. It's gonna enjoy this meat. I mean this meat. I thought it was gonna be more than this because he asked me to make in like two Ziploc bags, but by the time I finish cooking them, this is all I got. And it was it's too late to do another one. I'm not going to have the chance to do it, so this is going to fit perfectly in here. I'm going to double this bag, and that's how it's going to go to the post office. So, that's all I'm sending to him this time around, and I think I'm going to send another box to him by Christmas time. So, around Christmas, so I'm going to send him another package. That might be the last one before he gets back home. I'm not sure, but it's not going to be here for Christmas. So, yeah, so I'll send him more meat then. So, guys, that's it. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Yeah, that's all I want to show you guys. I'm going to be ending this video here. Uh, let me know if you have any questions about things like this. I will be sure to answer your questions. Let me um let me know that you are here watching leave me a comment in the comment section and please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up i will catch you in my next video bye bye